Let's not forget financing. If you plan to sell to first-time buyers, you'd better have a plan in place to make purchasing their first home a possibility. Yeah, in fact, there are a lot of misconceptions out there about financing a new home. Dean Bloxham with MTH Mortgage has been working with Meritage to develop some solutions to the challenges sometimes faced by first-time buyers. The three most common misconceptions are, is my credit sufficient, do I have enough income, and do I have the down payment? Credit scores are very mysterious to people. And meeting with a professional and giving a chance for them to view their credit and look at those credit scores, most people are very surprised that they actually can buy a home, that credit's not a barrier. So credit's not always a problem, but what about down payment? Oh, I truly believe that one of the biggest barriers to people coming out and looking for a new home is they don't believe they have the down payment. And there are loan programs that allow people to put down as little as 3.5% or less. But they still think, I don't have that. And there are so many ways to achieve down payment. There are tax credits. They can save their down payment. They can borrow or gift money from a relative. And, and that's their opportunity to go out and say, how much do I need to put down? And find those ways. We have people every single day that after they close say, wow, I really didn't think I could do this. At only 3.5%, raising the down payment may be easier than many people think. On a $200,000 home, 3.5 is only $7,000. And let's not forget that $8,000 tax credit. The new stimulus plan allows for first time home buyers to be eligible for up to an $8,000 tax credit. And we always encourage people to talk to their tax advisor, but imagine that. You can buy a new home, and if you're a first time home buyer, be eligible for up to $8,000 tax credit. It's huge money. Huge money is right. So with down payment taken care of, what about the final consideration, income? Homes are so affordable right now that we are often quoting payments at or below the rent that people are paying today. Income is seldom a problem. If they can pay it in rent, they certainly can pay it in a mortgage payment.